site, get what we need. And this is this week's Closet Classic. Thanks for showing up. It's me. You know who it is. You might say, is that Garth Brooks? No. Is that a 280 pound stunt double for Howdy Doody? No. It's me, Fabulous Frank up from Footeranaland. I got my cowboy outfit on today. You know what today is? Cowboy cooking. What this food has to do with anything with cowboys? <laughs> I don't know. You be the judge of that. But uh, we're going to have some fun anyway, so stick around, OK? Woo! <laughs> Oh, sorry. Hey, um, what's going on? You know what we're doing today? Ham and egg salad. Isn't that great? And we're also going to do, we're going to do some saute of tomatoes. And we're also going to do, you know, this is kind of a request. Somebody called in about a request. You know, we did a chicken and broccoli before, but someone says, how can I spice it up a little bit? Well, you know what? We're going to spice it up today because I get some jalapenos and serrano peppers. And we're just going to make it hot for all you guys. Are you guys out there ready to have some hot food? Are you ready? They're ready. OK. Let's get started. The first salad we're going to do is going to be a ham and cheese salad. Ham, cheese, and egg salad. What an egg, ham, egg, ham, cheese, and ham. You understand, right? It's going to be cool. Because you know what? We have use the fun things in our fridge today to make a beautiful salad. Let's get started. What I have here is a head of lettuce. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make this, and this will be a perfect size salad for approximately two people. You know, so when your date comes over, say, hey, baby. Check it out. Daddy's going to make us some salad for us. And you know what's cool, too, is you can put it all on the same plate and share it, because, you know, sharing's really nice sometimes. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of a red onion on it. Now, just remember, the way we put it on and the way we decorate it is all you're going to add into what the end product looks like. OK, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these into thin half moons. As you can see, is it great? Now we'll do it, we'll sprinkle these around, okay? Sprinkle these around on our dish. You know, keeping the onions on the plate. That would be nice. So we have the onions on that now. Now I wanna show you something, okay? We're gonna do a saute of tomatoes. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna cut the tomatoes for it in the ends. Check this out. It's all about utilization. We're going to use the ends of the tomatoes. We're going to use it for the salad in the middle of the perfect round slices. We're going to use those for our saute. So that way we can use everything. What we're going to do first, we're going to pull out the core. You know, reminding you that everything we washed before we use, because we always want to wash our vegetables. OK, now, I'm going to cut some kind of Good size slices here. I'm going to put these aside. I'll move them in a second. We do our saute of tomatoes. Oh, watch out, America. Okay, I'm going to put these aside over here for now. Now we have these pieces. What we're going to do is we're going to just cut them. See how we're cutting these real small like this? And they'll look great. That way, we use everything. We don't waste one thing at all. And that's what we like to do around here on Fabulous Franco's Food of Ramelan, is use everything. We don't throw away anything. We use the simple ingredients from our home to put in everything we make. 
Okay, now, I have an Anaheim pepper. I'm just gonna put a couple of these in, okay? Just a couple of slices, they'll give it a nice color. Now, some people take the seeds out, but you know what, I really enjoy the seeds. So I'm gonna leave them in. Here we go, we'll put that on it. Here we have a carrot. Whoa! Whoa! I can't believe when that happens. What I'm doing is I'm just going to cut a, some just like this. I'm going to put these on top of our lettuce and our tomato mixture. Yummy, huh? Now what I have here is I have one piece of ham. So, you know, I was making grilled ham and cheese the other day, right? I was on my ninth sandwich, just couldn't finish it, so I saved a piece of ham. Utilization, we're gonna use it for our salad today. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this over, and I'm gonna cut it into strips, much like you see here. It's funny, it's like I call this a ham and egg salad, but you know what this really is, like back east? This is much like a chef salad. You know, you go to a restaurant, you see ham, egg, and cheese, or anything like that. Now I'm gonna put a piece of I have Munster cheese. See, the only thing we didn't put in it today is turkey. That's why we didn't call it a chef salad. I'm gonna sprinkle that around. And I have a couple of hard boiled eggs. I'll put those around. And you know what else I have? I have some olives. I have black olives. Put black olives around it. I love black olives. They make it just look so good. Yahoo. Now we're gonna wipe our knife off. Now you know it's time? It's time to make our dressing. I have a bowl right here. You know what I'm going to add to it? So I'm going to add some, about a half a cup of mayonnaise. I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of grain mustard. I love using grain mustard. You know why? Because it has more of a flavor to it. You get the mustard grains in it. Then I'm going to add some red wine vinegar. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic salt, a little bit of black pepper, and yep, you guessed it. Look what else I have. That's right, cottage cheese, half a cup of cottage cheese. Say, what else is he going to add to this? Pickles. I'm gonna dice up pickles. I'm gonna add that to it also. Give it a little bit different, you know, give it a little different flavor, because we wanna be different. And you know, you notice all these recipes that I make, there's not too many ingredients in it, and we can use leftover ingredients, you can substitute ingredients if you want. I'm gonna add a little bit of chopped parsley. Add that to it. Now what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna whisk this up. See how beautiful this is? Now me, myself, I like serving this on the sides, but you know, sometimes I'll put some on half of it. You put a little bit on. And it's great because you have the cottage cheese into it, so it gives it a different kind of texture. And it's light and it's also good for you. And the flavors of the mustard and the pickles are just great. There we go, check this out. This is a great salad. This is, you know, how to impress your date. Let's get a little closer on that. Get a real closer. So we can show everybody at home how beautiful this is. Look at all the beautiful colors in it. Now how long did that take us to make? Five minutes? I mean, it's great. 
And if you had anything else left over at home, leftover vegetables or anything like that, you could, have, you could put that in there. Because, you know, that's what it's all about. It's about using everything that's in your fridge so you're not throwing things away. Because when you start throwing things away, you start losing money. Use everything. Okay. Now remember, clean up our home. Now, do you guys understand anything about why this has to do with cowboy cooking at all? Do you understand? Yeah, you do? Okay. This is because, you know, we're having fun. We're having fun in the kitchen. We can dress up and do whatever we want. Today's theme's cowboy. You know, we didn't make any beans or anything like that. We're just cooking food. Because I'm cowboy cooking, yeah. <laughs> now, this next dish, let me tell you a little about what we're going to do. We're going to do a chicken and broccoli dish, plus we're going to do the saute of tomatoes. And what's good about this is the tomatoes are going to be on the outside edge of our dish right here. We're going to put them on the outside, then we're going to put the chicken and broccoli in the middle. So let's get started on that. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in this. Yummy. Now we have our plate right here. We have our plate with all our tomatoes on it. Now watch what we're going to do. I have some garlic here. I'm going to rub them with garlic. We're going to season these real well. And then we'll flip them over and use the other side. We have garlic salt. So we're going to put a lot of seasonings on these. Then we have a black pepper medley with white pepper, black pepper, and red pepper mix. It's great. It's a great flavor in that. Then we'll just salt the top of it a little. Now just turn them around and get them, you know, get both sides coated. We want one side really coated and the other side, you know, medium coated. Now when we look over here, we see that our pan is smoking. So what we want to do is the side with all the seasonings on it, we want to put that down first. What that's going to do is that's going to sear the seasonings right into the top of it. I'll just do four today. We'll, we'll eat these later. <laughs> we'll have our plate. I'll move my plate over here. Now what I brought from my garden is I brought some fresh oregano. Fresh herbs are great. You know, they're very inexpensive to buy and they're easy to take care of. All you do is pretty much just water them. Now I'm going to check out, see what these look like. Yep, they're getting there. We're going to chop up these, we're going to chop this oregano fresh while we wait. do is we're going to sprinkle this on the top and this is going to get a nice fresh flavor. Now it's probably time to flip her over. Great. Look at that. Isn't that great? Look at that. Yahoo. And um, if my brother Herb's out there watching, it's incredible. Yeah. Now these are done, conveniently. Whoopsie. Now see how quick these cooked? Now we do, sprinkle fresh oregano on there. Just like that, yummy. Now, see, this is ready. Now this is ready for us to make our jalapeno chicken. Actually, it's chicken and broccoli, but we're going to add a lot of jalapenos to it. 
And you know what's great about this too is we can use the same pan. Isn't that excellent? I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil on that. Now what I have here is I have chicken that I've already cut up into pieces. We're going to season this really, really good, okay? We're going to season it with garlic salt. We're going to season it with our pepper medley. We're going to season it with regular salt. Just going to mix it up a little. And you know, I'm sure the seasoning from the jalapenos will kick in too. I put a lot of chicken in here today. Usually I would have put less. But you know, there's all kinds of people here today, so you know, we want to make sure that we feed everybody well. You know what I mean? Now earlier what I did, earlier I cooked a half a pound of ziti. I rinsed it off with cold water and here it is, set. You know, a lot of times when we do Italian dishes, we use a tomato sauce. What I'll do is I'll add olive oil and season it a little, but today we're not going to use olive oil because what we're going to do is we're going to make a cream sauce that if we did olive oil, it would separate. So while that's cooking, what I have here is I have a shallot. Shallots in the onion family. And only because it's a little bit sweeter, you know, it has its own distinct flavor. And it's just not as strong as an onion, but it'll still give it the nice flavor of an onion. I'm going to chop that up. Okay, we're going to put that aside. We're going to get that ready. Now, I'm really into... I'm really into messing people up today. I have jalapenos right here. These are from my garden, they're pretty good ones. It's a good thing about being out here in California. We can grow peppers and stuff all year round. And I get these Serrano peppers right here that I just picked, and I'm pretty happy with those. And all my other stuff, I have basil, which isn't ready yet. I have zucchini, it's not ready yet. And I've grown my own garlic, which is great. And I have tomatoes that are about this big. So you know, you people in Massachusetts, when your plants are only this big, you know, it's like, hey, Fabulous Franco has these plants that are this big and they're big, huge tomatoes. <laughs> now what we're going to do is we're just going to start cutting these up. Because you know every time I, I like to use jalapenos and stuff, the well, last time I guess what happened was everybody was crying saying that it was, it was too hot. You know what, it wasn't even hot. So you know today I'm going to make them something to cry about. This is my buddy Sheila, the director out in the back. She loves hot stuff and she loves garlic. And she said if I didn't make it real hot, then she wouldn't do the show anymore. So I'm really gonna watch that one. We're gonna flip all this chicken over. Yahoo! See how nice this looks? There's already a lot of flavor in it. And look, I got Billy. Billy's my friend. Billy, you having fun yet? Yep. See, Billy's having fun. His mouth doesn't move too good, so you know what? I'll help move it. Okay, Billy, you ready for some hot stuff? Yep. All right, great. So you know what? We're going to put you down, okay? Is that okay? So let's get a wide shot of me and Billy. I'm going to put Billy down for a little while, and um, he's just going to rest. He, but he'll come back. So I just kind of light this up to, you know, make the cooking process a little quicker. Yeah, that's a good one today. Now, uh, first day with the matches there, Franco. So this is good. This is cooking out everything. The chicken's starting to be almost done. Hmm, smell that. Yummy. Mm hmm. Well, while that's burning. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up a scallion, because we're going to add a scallion to this too. Wow, look, it's still burning. Someone help me. This is perfect. Now I'm going to pull off the chicken, 
Now see, look, there's still some juice in there, which has some cognac in it. We're gonna let this sit. Now's the fun time, because you know what we do now? Now we put in all the fun ingredients, all the hot ingredients. We'll add our two tablespoons of garlic. And then uh, we're pretty much gonna, you know, we're gonna stir them up. Woo! Now I know this is gonna start getting hot real soon. Now I wanna bring out Claire. You guys haven't seen Claire in a while, but Claire's gonna help me stir. Right, Claire? Yeah. Wait, Claire's gonna help me stir. All right, Claire, thanks a lot. Okay, we're gonna let you sit down, okay? We're not gonna have you sit down on there because you guys will probably be over there screwing around. Okay, now, watch this. You guys ready for this one? It's broccoli time. I'm only gonna use a half of this head because today we want more chicken than we do broccoli. So we're cutting this into real small pieces. You know why? Because when we cut it into real small pieces, they take no time at all to cook. And if everything's the same size when you cook it, they all cook the same time. Because sometimes if you have bigger pieces, it'll take a lot longer to cook when the other ones are done. Wow, you can smell that now. Wahoo. Okay, now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my heavy cream to it. Possibly one cup of heavy cream. And we're going to let this come to a boil. Is there any use out there that are you a cowboy? Mm -mm. And how about how about this one over here? See you a cow are you a cowboy? You are a cowboy? That's great. So I know we were walking out back in the yard one time, came across the meadow muffins, decided to eat them. They weren't too good though. Now, I've been chowing down on a cow patty. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ooh, yeah. Can you smell that? You probably smell it already. Now, I found the coolest thing at the store today. Well, actually, the other day I found it. I found Parmesan cheese with garlic and cracked red pepper in it, ground up red pepper. It's hot, it's spicy, it's Parmesan cheese, and it's great. It's great for a pasta dish. Mmm. He likes that one. But you know what happens, right? I'll, I'll give you an example of what happens around here, okay? When we, when we go to this camera, maybe? We'll go to this camera. Now, this guy over here is mad because I'm not on his camera, so then I'll have to go back to his camera, and then I'll come back to this one. But sometimes I'll just be talking, and I'll walk over to this one right here, and the guy over here will be trying to get a shot of me going up there on the stage. Then I'll walk over to this one, and this one will be getting a shot of me cooking food. But I know the guy that's over in the front, he wants to get a good shot of me because he's close to the food. And when, the, when I'm on this camera right here, then this guy over here can snag the food. Got it? Good. Okay, look, I'm gonna sprinkle the top with Parmesan cheese. Don't be afraid, because what this is gonna do is this is gonna help thicken it up a little also. Aw, oh, man. I don't believe this. This is, ugh. You ever have those dishes where you read about that are just uh, like so unbelievable? Now look, I'm gonna add my chicken to this. Have those dishes where you read about things that are so unbelievable? Well, this is it. Now, usually what I would do, right, is I would put the pasta right in here, but seeing I put extra chicken in, I was gonna put the pasta right on the plate, okay? I'm gonna put a pile of it, you know what I mean? Because we're gonna, we're gonna pig out today, woohoo! Now see, that's done. Oh man. You don't even know what's going through my mind right now. 
Let me do a surprise wahoo. Look at this. Is that delicious or what? How easy was that? And that only took us, you know, it only took us five, six, seven, it took about sort of eight minutes to cook. And then see on the side, look, see on the side? We have our tomatoes and it's a great garnish. It's simple, we have a vegetable on it, and it's, oh, it's yummy. And, you know, as far as cowboy cooking those, I know it probably had nothing else to do with cowboy cooking. It probably had absolutely nothing to do with cowboy. But I had a chance to wear this off, like I said before, so you know what? I'm going to use my imagination when I'm in the cooking, because cooking is a want-to-do thing. It's not a have-to-do thing. You know, I want to go in the kitchen. And if you want to dress up and do your own thing and do your own theme, go right ahead. That's what it's all about. It's like a giant stage, and it's fun. You can do anything you want. And you can have grasshoppers. I mean, you can have anything you want. And, you know, I was very lucky today, probably because I had a horseshoe up my butt. That's good luck right there. But anyway, let's go over quick where we go, and then we got to go, because I know you guys want to get a good seat for next time on Fabulous Franco's Food Around Line. So here we go. We had our salad. It was much like a chef's salad, but we didn't have turkey in it. We made our own dressing. It was real simple, and it was real delicious. And then we did our saute of tomatoes, which we used as a garnish for our plate. Then we made our chicken with broccoli and ziti, and we added our jalapenos to it because we wanted to give it a little bit of kick. It was great. I'm very, very happy with it. And I'm glad that, you know, I'm glad you all showed up. You know, thanks for showing up. It was great because I was able to cook with a firearm, and that was fun. So you know what? If you're thinking of food, think of me. If you're eating food, think of me. If um, you're drinking beers or anything else to do with food, think of me, because you know what? I am Fabulous Franco for Food of Ramblin'. Thank you and God bless.